Old lady starts yelling at kid who is selling Halloween candy, stranger steps in and saves the day. While most kids are playing video games or basketball, others don't have time for fun activities because they need to help their parents put food on the table. Not everyone is lucky to have a great childhood, and this is a sad truth. However, some of these kids are ingenious or they are willing to put in hard work in order to make a couple of bucks. This is exactly what a kid who was selling his candy in front of a Target store was doing and his story went viral after a mean old lady started yelling at him and threatening to call the police because he didn't have a permit. While most kids are playing video games or basketball, others don't have time for fun activities because they need to help their parents put food on the table. Not everyone is lucky to have a great childhood, and this is a sad truth. However, some of these kids are ingenious or they are willing to put in hard work in order to make a couple of bucks. This is exactly what a kid who was selling his candy in front of a Target store was doing and his story went viral after a mean old lady started yelling at him and threatening to call the police because he didn't have a permit. Some people are entrepreneurs from a young age and instead of spending their time fooling around with other kids, they choose to start a business and make some money to help their parents. Since they are thinking about making a living at such a young age, it's safe to say that these kids have a bright future ahead of them. A young boy from the United States came from a family that didn't have enough money to survive the next day. He and his sister didn't get to enjoy the carefree life other kids had, so they decided to do something about it. Little did he know that day would go terribly wrong. The kid had a box filled with candy from Halloween and he decided to sell it in front of the local Target store. Isn't that amazing? Most kids would just eat up all the candy as soon as they got it. But this kid and his sister knew their priorities. They had a plan and everything was supposed to go smoothly. The kids also made the right decision by going to the Target store because hundreds of people visit this place every day in order to get their groceries. However, there was something that these kids didn't think about. Who could have imagined someone would pick on them? With the money these kids would get from selling their Halloween candy, they'd be able to help their parents with the groceries and eat some hot meals for a few days. But the little entrepreneurs got in trouble, and it wasn't even their fault. As kids, we learned to be entrepreneurs by setting up a lemonade stand and waiting for customers. We would offer refreshing juice, gain some money and learn that hard work is repaid, as well as how important it is not to spend everything we had earned. These kids were doing the same thing. You see, the kids gathered their candies, placed them into two boxes, and went to the closest target. There, they talked to the manager and asked him if it was okay to sell the candy in front of the store to earn some extra bucks. The manager agreed, but with some conditions. For the kids to sell their candy, the products had to be in their package and clean. The goods had to be unexpired and kept in the shade. Thankful for the manager's kindness, the siblings separated to cover the two entrances at Target, both sitting in the shade to sell their candy. Then, the boy is approached by an old woman. As the kid was minding his own business, a mean old lady started yelling at him. She was mad that he was selling his candy, and she kept screaming at him to pack up his candy and to leave. What was happening? He didn't say anything rude to her, and she was yelling out of nowhere. As the old lady was screaming at him, the kid told her to please let him be because he just wants to make a couple of bucks and that he will be on his way. Can you really blame him? This kid was basically doing the same thing we did with the lemonade stand or selling cookies at a fair. He was asking himself what was wrong and why the woman yelled at him. The box and the candy were clean, every package was intact and he was sitting in the shade so the chocolate won't melt. But the old woman kept yelling. Here's why she was making a scene. Yelling at the kid to go home wasn't enough for the mean old lady, and she started making a scene. She kept asking the kid if he had a license, and she was yelling at the Target store guards to come and pick him up or else she'll call the police. Can you believe this? But things would soon get better for this kid. A young woman named Andy Lizaraga who was accompanied by her mother was just getting out of Target when the old lady was making a scene. Andy took out her phone and began recording those moments and the video soon got viral once it was published on Facebook. Here's what she said in the video description. Outside of Target, someone was selling candy. As my mom and I were walking away, 
a lady went up to this person and told them she wanted to see their license to sell. But as the woman was furiously yelling at the kid, the young boy began tearing up. Thankfully, someone comes to save the day. The old lady wasn't just scaring him, she was making him feel bad for trying to help his family and earn some money. The video taken by Andy was posted online first to be seen by the ones in her friends list, and then someone told her to make the post public because people had to see it. What was so special about the next scenes? I showed it to friends and family, not intending it to go viral at all, and I guess people just started sharing it and sharing it. Why did it go viral? It was a stranger that made this kid's day and everyone around the world was impressed to tears. Out of nowhere, a stranger comes in and tells the old lady that she should be ashamed of herself. The boy is doing something good and she is picking on him for no reason. In a later interview with the local media, we learn the man's name was Lopez. What did he say about that day? He was in tears. When I walked up, he was crying hysterically. She continued to yell at him and scream at him and tell him if he didn't have a permit, that he was going to go to jail, that sheriffs were on their way. Thinking that the cops would come and put him and his sister in jail, the kid panicked. Sticking up for the young kid wasn't enough and the stranger told him that he was going to buy all the candy. I'm gonna buy it all, and I'm gonna give it away to all these people. You should be ashamed of yourself, he told to the old lady who was in shock. She couldn't believe what was going on and she kept yelling. The stranger told the old lady that she is ruining the kid's day. He is a good kid for deciding to earn some money instead of hanging around in the park doing nothing all day long. Everyone agreed and the old lady had no idea her way of thinking and behavior would backfire that day. The worst thing to happen here is that the old lady threatened to call the cops to arrest the young boy for not having a permit to sell the candy. How can someone be so mean? Hopefully, she had learned her lesson. We have to give praise to the stranger who decided to stick up for the kid. He didn't just make his day better, he also taught the old lady a valuable lesson. The kid stopped crying and he thanked the stranger for his good deed. He didn't know how to calm down the old lady and he was also afraid that the cops might come to arrest him. The stranger ended up buying all the candy from the kid and also giving him an extra tip. The kid couldn't have asked for a better deal. Seeing the old lady simply stand by idle while the stranger was paying for the kid's candy is really satisfying. At that moment, she had probably realized that she was in the wrong. As you can surely imagine why the video of the old lady screaming at the kid went viral on social media. The video got more than 6 million views in less than a week. Everyone in the comments section of the video agreed with the stranger and said that the old lady is just being mean-spirited for no good reason. To make things even more wholesome, the young kid said that he is going to buy groceries for his family with all the money that he got from the stranger. We are glad to let everyone know that our story has a happy ending. Even though the kid was scared by the mean old lady, he managed to sell all his candy and buy food for his family.